guys and welcome to Gemma Ween 2021. This is episode two of Gemma Ween and we're having it a little bit early. Um, I don't know if I said in the last video, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to do a daily video in October this year. Um, my YouTube channel sort of gone on the back burner for most of 2020 and 2021 and I've actually been suffering a little bit lately and I've had to take some time out of work um, so I'm not sure whether I could commit to a daily video in October things may change, who knows but anyway, I want to show you some candles that I've been um, hauling in TK Maxx and they are all Halloween themed so I'll begin with the small ones so the first one I've got is Witching Hour it is fruity, juicy and sweet dark mixture of plum, juicy nectarines, wild blackberry and sweet black cherry. Now these small size candles which this video is going to be about are 2 99 I actually think they are quite a bargain um, especially if you're not sure if you like the scents. I think pumpkin fall scents are not for everybody and so it's a good way of actually checking and just if it tells us what the burn time of these are but it doesn't sometimes they do don't they? Oh, 20 hours, it tells us on the front, 20 hours. I don't think my camera will focus on that. So this is Witching Hour. Uh, mm, it does smell, yeah, it smells of plum and juicy berries. So it did say um, nectarines, plums, blackberries and black cherry. You can smell all them and it's really berry, a lovely berry scent matching in its purple. I think the camera's making it look black, but it's definitely like a see-through purple um, jar. So it's got the witching hour with the hat on there um, and I really love that one. Again, it's a change from the pumpkin spice scents that I normally have. The next one, um, also 2 .99 and in this small size. Again, it says it burns for 20 hours and this is Fright Night. Um, if you can see there, it's got the bat on it, Fright Night. And it says earthy, um, ozonic and citrus. A sparkle of citrus, green cactus, and shimmers of aloe, aloe finished with a whisper of desert sandstone. So again, it's not a pumpkin spice. Um, I do like it. It smells a bit aftershavey, um, but I do like it. Um, I can't remember why I purchased it. Um, I think I just like the. Sometimes I just like the names, but it. I do like it. Um, again. They match quite well together, these two. This one had like loads of sticker residue on it. I'm not sure why, um, but they do match quite well. And they are cute, super cute, the little small ones. I do like Now, here's another black one. So this one will go um, well with um, the Fright Night. Although the Fright Night isn't black, I've just discovered it's like a navy blue. Um, but this one's definitely black. There's some dust on these. I've had them on a shelf. Um, and again, it's DW Home. Um, they do tell you hand poured burn time 20 hours approximately and this one is poison apple it doesn't tell you on this one um, what the smells are supposed to be they must all come from different ranges because it's a sort of different different logo on there these say they're richly scented candles um, so yeah poison apple smells like apples something else not sure definitely smells like apples to me anyway again I bought this one because it's different from the other fall candle smells which are usually cinnamon and pumpkin next one in the small jars is boo I really love this one I bought this one for my sister as well um, again this is from the richly scented candle so it matches with this one um from the same range i guess except this one has a really cute lid with little ghosts and the crescent moons on and um, which is really cute and um, this is probably my favorite one from these small ones i have um it just says hand poured and i don't know what that smells like but it smells divine i want to say marshmallow vanilla definitely marshmallow it, it's a really nice smell Definitely like a vanilla-y, marshmallow -y scent. Not what you would think Boo would smell like, but it's a nice candle. I just like the name and the little ghosts on there. And I got it for my sister and she liked it too. 
The last one I'm going to show you is a pumpkin candle and it's called Harvest Pumpkin and Spice. It includes essential oils and this is from the DW Natural range and it's creamy, warm, spiced coconut wax blend. So it's a more natural um, range. It says DW Natural's coconut wax um, there and typical pumpkin pumpkin spice smell there no different from any others but it is super cute and I'm, I'll be um, interested to see how it burns differently to the normal wax ones so that's all the candles in the small range I've splurged on so far this spooky season let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of them and let me know if there's any other spooky season style videos that you would like to see take care thanks for watching bye bye